Hello, Pastor Dan Smith here with your daily devotion for Friday, April 17th. The reading is from 1 Corinthians 15. I'll read it three times as usual. The first time just to let the text come into us and make its impression on us and sort of be empty our minds to hear the words. Second time to listen for a word, phrase, thought, or feeling that stands out in the text. And the third time to ask how the text meets us in our life. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 to 11. St. Paul writes, For I handed on to you, as of first importance, what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the Twelve. Then he appeared to more than five hundred brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive though some have died. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. I'll read it one more time, and we listen for a word, phrase, thought, or feeling that stands out in the text. For I handed on to you as of first importance, what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. Then he appeared to more than five hundred brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. For me, the phrase was untimely born. I'll read it one more time, and we ask how the text meets us in our life. For I handed on to you as of first importance that what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. Then he appeared to more than five hundred brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. And I'm not sure why untimely born stood out for me in particular, but I do wonder about appearance and the way people appear in this time of sheltering when we're not physically in contact with one another. We appear to one another on computer screens or television sets or from a distance, maybe when we're taking a walk in the neighborhood. We're not appearing in the same way and it's different. I think we notice that and there's a real loss. And I think somehow our Christian faith tells us that that Christ is somehow with us and walks with us. And uh, the risen Lord is in our midst and offers us hope and promise in spite of the sense of that which is lacking, um, even in a, and especially in a difficult time like this. We close with prayer. Everlasting God, you reveal yourself to the multitudes and give us the sure testimony of our ancestors to increase our faith. Manifest your presence in our own communities that our stories of your love and justice may liberate generations to come. Amen. And now, dear friends, I wish you blessings and peace as you continue your time of sheltering in place. Until we meet again.